Hello, uh, my name is Aneta George. I am uh, initially Macedonian uh, singer and composer who is uh, now living in Paris, uh, France. Uh, and uh, this is my new project that is called uh, Melem, Le Baume pour l'âme, which means uh, the balsam healing, balsam for the soul. Uh, the, it, it consists of four long tracks uh, that I did with uh, three fabulous musicians. Uh, Denis Givarch, uh, in, uh, who plays the alto saxophone, Eric Jaco, who plays the uh, double bass, and Elios Mikhail, who plays uh, the drums. My original idea is to uh, take traditional Macedonian music and to bring it t towards uh, modern jazz, but in a way that it will it won't suffocate the the soul of the music, but it will celebrate. So it's been a quite a journey for me personally, spiritually, and emotionally, and I'm really happy and proud of the result. Um, and uh, each song of those four songs has different uh, names, mostly of women who have influenced me in life and uh, that taught me something very valuable that I will keep my whole life after. Uh, so uh, the first song is about my aunt who passed away 20 years ago when I was 20 and uh, Obviously, I, I was uh, very shocked and it took me a while to get over that loss. Uh, but I was finally ready after 20 years to sing about it and I dedicate this song to all the people who, uh, who have lost someone and, who they, and then who they, they need to go on, uh, on this earth living without them. And, all that uh, emotions that are that are they, they, that come with uh, this uh, this way of I have to continue living with that with with my loved one uh, like the guilt the the pain the the denial and everything and I went for the first time so deeply in those uh, you know quote unquote dark emotions but for me. Embracing those emotions were, was very important for me to move on and to heal and to, you know, and to and to go towards uh, self-love and happiness. song is called Katerino Krutko Jagne. Katerino is a name of a woman who, uh, who a Macedonian woman obviously, it's a traditional, it's a traditional Macedonian song. Uh, and at the, at the beginning of the song she's suffering and she's kind of, the, the whole song is like the communication between her and her boyfriend. And at the end she says, you know, I saw you, uh, I saw you with another woman. And uh, I find that very inspiring uh, that, you know, she, she told him with a very gentle voice, like with no revenge or, you know, of infidelity, but just, you know, I'm sorry I saw you with another woman and my eyes don't lie. Um, from the musical standpoint, I love this song because it's, a, uh, it's based on a Turkish uh, makam called Hijaz. And uh, it's especially very, very, uh, I don't know, touches my soul that I played the Macedonian tambura, uh, which is kind of, 
a legacy from my grandfather who also played the, the Macedonian tamura. And uh, this is how I celebrate my ancestors and, um, and I, I, I speak about an issue that, that's it, that is, uh, that is uh, near to me. is Serbes Donka, again traditional Macedonian song. Serbes means free-spirited, free-willed, courageous, wild. So Donka is the name of the woman uh, who was in love with a guy and it's a true story which is very interesting for me uh, and uh, she, she was in love with her boyfriend but obviously her father didn't want uh, her to get married to him because he was poor and he arranged a marriage that um, that was uh, with uh, some rich uh, another rich guy uh, but she uh, and they organized this uh, celebration uh, uh, you know the engagement party but in the middle of the engagement party, she goes, uh, you know, goes out of the room and she packs uh, like minimal stuff and she runs away. And she she got married and she has children and she, with the, the guy that she loved. So for me, it's the courage to do all that because at, at the time, uh, in the past, the Macedonian woman was very suppressed and she didn't really have the right to say and. There were they were arranged marriages and uh, you know it, it was complete, you know it, it there was no freedom for the woman but this woman found her freedom and actually she became a legend in a small town called Veles in Macedonia and uh, people still talk about it and you know it's the most one of the most famous uh, traditional songs which is sung by many other artists. is not a woman in a you know woman shape like a human woman but for me it's a kind of feminine in you know feminine interpretation it's it's in French c'est la forêt which means the forest uh, because uh, I'm lucky to live in near a forest in outside of Paris and in the town of Fontainebleau and uh, I pass a lot of time obviously in the forest and I feel very connected to this energy, the greenery, when I go alone with my dog and I'm singing and I'm composing and many ideas were born there and, uh, and it's kind of, it's, it goes like full circle, it's because from the first song Sneja which is the darkness and I go, go full circle and I come to the light, to the love, to the, to the celebration of life. And I, I, I started the song with, you know, I, although I have been suffering, although I have, uh, have uh, lost and uh, loved and was in pain, I'm continuing my life and I'm celebrating life because uh, 
kind of embracing all the positive and negative aspects of life.